Last year, one running back went in round one, the very last pick to the Kansas City Chiefs. Peter King has two this year projected, one at 24 to the Pittsburgh Steelers, Alabama's Najee Harris, and then at number 30, Travis Etienne, the Clemson running back to the Buffalo Bills. Hey, Peter, I've been saying for weeks, the Steelers need a Franco Harris. He was the 13th overall pick in 72. He came in right away. He was great from the get-go, made the immaculate reception to cap a historic rookie season. They need something like that to balance out their offense. And if they're going all in this year with Ben Roethlisberger at quarterback, they need a, a high-end running back to move the chains and and not put pressure on that passing game to constantly throw, throw, throw like they did last year. So I like it. I like it. My my only concern is they may not think any of these running backs is worthy of a first round pick. But you know what? If you want to address that need and you don't want to wait till round two, go ahead. Get him. Take him. Maybe they could trade down a few spots and still get him. But I just think they they have to make it a priority. You know, as their season was going up in flames late in the season last year. Uh, and, and this isn't exactly apples to apples, but in seven of their last 11 games last year, including the playoff game, uh, they they rushed for less than 55 yards. And everybody knows that they were a horrible running team last year. And the logic says, okay, well, let's get better on the offensive front. And that's, that's good logic. But Najee Harris, I think, really, really fits what they want to do because... He is a very good receiver out of the backfield. He'll give him a little bit of what they had with Le'Veon Bell. And he's a punishing runner who also can get outside. I'm not a fan of taking running backs in the first round. Not at all. But in, in the exact way that the Steelers conduct their business, that every year is a playoff year. Every year they're going to try to win a Lombardi this guy is the best player for them this year at this time. I wondered how long it was going to take me to stare at the name Najee Harris to realize Franco Harris, Najee Harris. Would they start calling him Franco from the moment he shows up in Pittsburgh? <laughs> Regardless, that's what they need in Pittsburgh if they want to be as good as they can be this year. I'm also intrigued by the Bills. Travis Etienne, Brandon Bean, the GM, mentioned last week they need a home run hitter at the position. They thought Zach Moss would balance out Devin Singletary. It still feels like they're missing something, Peter, in that running game. And when you look at the Bills, and yeah, they have some needs defensively, but that offense is so good. The thing they're missing is the running game. And a guy like Travis Etienne could maybe help them go next level. They've got their Andre Reid. They've got their Jim Kelly. I said a couple of weeks ago they need their Thurman Thomas, and maybe Etienne could be that. Hey, look, he scored 78 touchdowns in four years at Clemson. Now, Clemson doesn't have the toughest schedule in college football, but it's Clemson. It's major college. And and I think that the other thing about Travis Etienne that really has scouts excited is he's a home run hitter, not only as a runner, but out of the backfield as a receiver, too. 22 plays of 40 yards or more and so to me I think he is a guy who can be that great jet sweep guy out of the backfield for Josh Allen and look at that look at that graphic the first round draft picks at running back since 2016 not on that list because they weren't first round picks guys like Dalvin Cook Derrick Henry Alvin Kamara Alvin Kamara James yeah. James Robinson, who wasn't even drafted last year. So many good running backs that can be found in every round of the draft. And and if you're going to go all in with a first-round draft pick on a running back, you better be able to make him the guy right away. Three-down guy. No platoon. No no load management. You got to get him on the field, and you got to use him to justify that pick, Peter. The one thing about the Bills is that this is the first time you've been able to say this in more than a generation they can make a luxury pick in the first round of the draft. And that is what Travis Etienne would be. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.